on our bench, spread all of the skin that we have available out nice and flat. So the neck, around the rear end, make sure it's all really nice and flat. Then, Depending on how much you, you like the guests or the people you've invited for dinner, if it's a young lover's dinner you might want to load the spatchcock up. But basically that sort of quantity is fine. I'm just going to place that right in the middle of the spatchcock. Okay, so there's my filling. Now, watch. This is really, really important. So, we've got the wings. I'm going to go under my wing, so watch, through the skin, I'm going to go under my wing, through the neck skin, I'm going to weave the skewer through the neck, and then I'm going to go back under the other wing, so under one wing, through the neck, under the oncoming wing. Then. Pull the spatchcock back over and then spin it around and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You then, going through the skin, start weaving the skewer back through. So we get a really nice little stitch. I should have been I should have been a stitch. Yeah. Now here's the other critical part. At the rear end of the bird push the filling in and try and grab the skin and pull it as tight as you can up towards the skewer. That seals the cavity at the end and then through the skin of one leg and then the skin of the other leg. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so there. Then, with our piece of string, okay, we go under the skewer over the skewer and tie it into a granny knot. In worst case scenario, if you split the skin, can you do anything about that? You, yeah, you sure can, I'll show you. Is this all about moisture retention? It is keeping, and also keeping and the bird in its shape. Or and, and then, Yep, that's it. And then you just push the